I'm Emily Johnson. I'm a choreographer and I make performance installations. I'm from the Kenai Peninsula of Alaska. I'm Yupik on my father's side and my Alaskan family is from the Yukon Kuskokwim Delta. And I tell you this because it's where I'm from and it's also where my work is from, the physical place of Alaska and the confluence between my heritage and performance work. But it wasn't always like this. I've been in Minneapolis for 18 years now and I miss Alaska. I miss my home so much that it hurts. This missing though has focused my work, research now into home, identity, connection to place, family, and community. The result is a trilogy of works that began with the thank you bar, moved forward to Nichugni, which is a Yupik word that means pay attention, and now moves forward to Shore, my creative capital funded work. All three are about gathering to form connection. I try to create experiences which call us to pay attention to our relationship and responsibility to place, time, and each other. I see our bodies as everything, culture, future, history, past, present, all at once. And I'm trying to make a world where performance is part of life, where it's an integral connection to each other, to our environment, to our stories, our past, present, and future. I do see dance in everything, and everything as a dance. You sitting here, birds migrating, construction outside, and I try to think about how the dances I make are in conversation with these already existing dances in the world. And it's this conversation between performance and the world that's exciting to me. How do my performances exist in relation to the harvest of salmon? In your memory, in the world of the everyday, the sublime and the boring, the normal or the really even nasty evil parts. Shore premieres next June. It will be a multi-day performance installation of four equal parts. Volunteerism, a curated reading, a performance that moves from outdoors onto stage, and a feast. The feast and volunteerism can take many parts, a potluck or a prepared meal. The curated reading offers local writers a place within Shore, and in each community, I gather partner organizations, create conversation, and over months, a community is built and the project takes form. This is the Thank You Bar, which was an installation of dance, story, and live music that asked what is a true home. It was made for 30 of us who sat on stage and I told partly true stories about us, the building we were in, and a fish that would never die. Nichugni was a performance housed in an installation of 50 fishkin lanterns made by volunteers across the country who gathered for sewing bees that included salmon feasts and hours working together, scraping and sewing skins. On tour, up to 40 people in each community joined us on stage simply doing what they do. Gardeners knelt in the dirt, moms held their kids. When I made it, I was thinking about the ways we do and do not connect to each other, to the stories within our own bodies and to the land we live on. Nichugni was rooted in the present, the small and the large of the present. Who is here in the room? Who used to be? What did we not notice today? How do our bodies and our land contain all of what is past in the present?
I used to make up a story that I was big too, that I could run outside and nudge that bear with my nose. Don't ask me if the story is real. It is real. I would run out and nudge that bear, and we would stand here. So about a week and a half ago, we had our first residency for shore in a small town on the north shore of Lake Superior. We worked in a park on the lake, and for the volunteerism, we collaborated with the local park board and garden club, weeding and planting bushes. We set up our sound installation and got people to join us in simple walking and singing scores on the beach. And what was amazing was that I would be kneeling in the park, weeding with volunteers, talking about lots of things, including this project, and people just kept saying that it made sense, that weeding as part of performance made sense, that it was a good way for us to get to know each other, for me to get to know the park, and for them to get their park cleaned up. And this was the response I wanted, but to get it was really, really good. And what I need is more of this, more connection, an engagement strategy made with Stephanie Blyer, a publisher for these little participatory zines we want to make in each town, more community partners to do this work so that Shore will be a celebration of the places where we meet and merge, land and water, performer and audience, effort and ideas, art, and community. Thank you. <laughs>